Hi, Santiago from Dipsloom here. In this video, we will learn about Rhythm Timeline. Rhythm Timeline is an editor in Unity which uses the timeline to create rhythm tracks. First, we'll import the Rhythm Timeline package. Here we are using uh, Unity version 2019.4. Once the package is imported, we can head to the demo scene, which can be found here. Here it will prompt you to download the TextMesh Pro, so make sure to import it, and then press play. Here you can play the demo. We'll choose this music here, Winter Fun, which I like quite a lot. And you can use the DFJ key to play along. As you can see, there are perfect, you can miss the notes, and you can have grades, etc. You can find the score here on the bottom, at the top left, the timer. Pause the game, go back to the menu, and it'll keep your high score, and you can quit the game if you want. So let's see how this is set up. Here we have a game manager, which has all our managers and our rhythm game manager. We have our score manager here. Then on the rhythm director, this is the brains of the system. Here we have our rhythm director which references our playable director here. If we go a bit beneath, we have our rhythm processor and our rhythm standard input. You can find all of these components in the documentation to learn more about them. Here what we'll do is create a new scene and try to set it up ourselves. So we'll create here in the scenes, sample scene. Here we have an empty scene. So first, we'll want to drag and drop a rhythm director prefab, and we want to put a rhythm, uh, sorry, a managers. There you go. And finally, we can drag and drop some track objects. We'll drag four, just like in the demo scene. There you go. So here we have our rhythm director, which when open or selected, if you have the timeline here opened, you'll be able to drag through the notes. Here we have some errors, we'll fix them in a moment. So first we'll go here in the scene and move our track objects so that they're well within the game view. Actually, let's open here a game view so we can see what we're doing. So here we have our first track object. So we'll put it on the left, then this one next to it, and the fourth one on the right. There we go. We'll select all of them so that we can actually see where the notes should be. There you go. This is where the note should be at the end when they reaches the target. And in the rhythm director, we can see here we have our track objects and we much we must reference our track objects here. So we must do so in order. Okay, so I'm gonna save. Now if we Go to the console, clear the errors, and go back to the timeline. We select the rhythm director, and now you'll see that we can actually preview our notes going down. So let's change the music that we are looking at. So we're looking at metronome 85. Here we can go to piano 91, for example. And here we have a button, open in rhythm director. 
So now we'll be able to preview it here by pressing play. So we can zoom in here. And if we don't like one of these nodes where they land, we can just drag and move and it will update it automatically. The nodes are usually set up so that even if you drag them on the sides, they snap back to their original size and their size is basically one BPM or exactly one beat. You'll be able to set the tempo with the tempo track. For whole notes, we can actually drag them to the size we want. This is set up in the notes definitions. So here in under scriptable object notes, you'll find the notes definitions. So here we have a reference to our prefab, which are note prefab, which what we see here in the scene, which gets spun. And here we have our clip duration. So if we want free, for example, for counters and whole notes, or if we don't want them to be a specific size, for example, a crochet or half a crochet or a quarter. Then if you stop selecting the rhythm director, you'll see that all your notes disappear. If you want to actually play this, uh, this thing here, you can select it here in the playable director and then press play on start. And now if I press start, I should be able to play the song. So that was quite easy to set up. Now let's see how to create our own song if we want to. So first we'll go back to our song timelines. So these are song timelines where you have your timeline with all the notes inside and we'll create our own. So what we'll do is right click and go to create Dipsloom rhythm timeline, rhythm timeline asset. Here we say demo. Of course, what we could have done is duplicate one of the existing ones, but I want to show you how we can create one from scratch. So here, what we'll do is add a audio track where we can put our music. So right click, add from audio clip. Uh, we'll take a random one, oh, happy, happy walk. There you go. So we can set it to start at any point during the timeline. We can set it to be seconds or frames. And what's cool with timeline is you can actually set here ease in and ease out if you want. So for example, I can ease in for one second and ease out for one second. And then it can gradually bump up the sound when you start or when you end. Then finally, you want to go to Dipsloom, playables and add rhythm tracks. So the rhythm tracks is needs to match the amount of tracks inside the scene. So you can have any amount you want. Uh, and you must set the IDs. So we'll set this one to ID zero and we'll create more. We can even duplicate them with control D. And this one will be ID one, two, and three. There you go. And then we'll also add a tempo track. So a tempo track is a track where you can set a certain tempo to the BPM of the song. So here right now, the demo song is set to have a BPM of 120. This is very important to set it to the song BPM so that it matches whatever song we have. So right now we selected one with a BPM of 124. To know the BPM, you usually need to ask uh, the artist or try to compute it yourself with another software. There are many ways to do it. So here we have 124. Actually, we should set it here on the timeline. Uh, here I forgot to say, but you could actually uh, put the full name of the song, the offer, description, difficulties, 
or even the audio clip here uh, if you want to preview it and other things. So we'll go back to the tempo track. Now that we've set the BPM here on the demo, it will set it here for us. Uh, we can set an offset where we'll start. For example, if we say that we're gonna start on second three, then on the tempo track, we can say that we're offset by three seconds and we'll do the duration of the entire song and we can set the tempo with beat marks and off beat marks. There you go. So it created our tempo. So that means that we can set our notes so that they match these tempo. And it will be super easy because the thing is it will snap to those things. So now we can go to notes. So these are our note definitions and we can just simply drag and drop inside here. So now we have a little problem you'll see that our note is actually not scaling to the right length. And that's because we need to open this timeline within the rhythm director. So if we go back to our demo, we must press this button. And as soon as we do, we can actually preview the notes and our notes snap to the right size. We can add as many notes as we want. We can move them from one track to the other. We can duplicate them. We can add a whole note, for example. Move them around. And then if you want to make it with the sound, you can simply press play and move them around so that they match the actual beats. Other cool features is for example the counter note which lets you press multiple times the same note over and over again until it disappears. So you can set the length of the note and here in the clip parameters you'll see that you have an int parameter and this is actually the count on this note. So if we go in game view, you can see that it's zero. We can set it to 10. And now you have to press this button 10 times. These clip parameters are things you can access through script on the notes. So if you wish to create your own notes with special functionality, this is a really easy way to customize it per clip instead of per note definition. So now let's see how this looks. pretty good so now we press play then we can try our song yeah that was pretty bad but that's fine um, and then what we'll do is uh, have a look at the note prefab so for the note uh, definition here we'll see that in the timeline if we select our song so rhythm director, we'll say here. We can actually um, uh, define how these things look, how the clip looks. And this is done on the note definition, which is what you drag and drop to see what happens. Here you can set how they look. So you can change the color, for example, instead of this blue, we put red. And then as soon as you hover back on the clips, they update. Uh, you can actually change what you, they see, what you see on the left instead of the center, if you prefer. And then there you go. So let's go back to the usual color. And you can do so for all the clips. So this is a really easy way to customize how they look here. Um, you can zoom in, zoom out. And then if you go to here, the note prefab, this is what you spawn in the scene. So we'll go here and have a look at the tap note. So the tap note, here uh, you have your script, which is tap note, and you can choose whether it updates with the timeline or by update. So these are two different ways and it depends how you want to sync other things which are unrelated to timeline. Uh, you can choose if you're gonna activate with the clip 
or if you're uh, gonna activate by the time. So this means that in the timeline, you can choose to send an event when the clip starts to activate the clip or to activate the clip by time. So this is very similar to if you want to update with timeline and this. Uh, you can orient uh, this prefab or this instance of a prefab to the track such that if you, for example, uh, move the track around and oriented it to rotate them a bit like this, then your notes will orient to the track. If we go back to our prefab, notes, top notes, then there are the things we can set up. We can see, for example, hold note. We have different options where you can set the, what's the start, what's the end, the color between them and color notes and counter notes, for example. We can set the, the counter text. And for swipe notes, we have four prefabs, down, left, right, up. We can make as many as we want. And they have the same script, which is swipe notes. And we have a swap, uh, a swipe direction. And there you go. That's about all there is to learn about rhythm timeline. You can, uh, one last thing for the note definitions, you can create them by pressing right click, create, dipsloom, rhythm timeline, and note definition. Then you can create your definition, create your own prefab, and then you can drag and drop them in the timeline. That's all about Rhythm Timeline. I hope you learned a lot in this video and I hope you'll enjoy Rhythm Timeline. Okay, bye.